So here we have a current carrying wire and we have a loop where part of it, this rod is traveling towards right with the velocity V. So we have to find the magnitude and direction of the current induced in this conductor and the force required to maintain the connector's velocity constant. So first, let's find the current. So to find the current, we need to find the EMF induced. Then we can divide that by R to get the current. So EMF induced, if the field was uniform, that will be BIL. But here B is changing with distance. As you go further from the wire, the value of B decreases. So let's take a small element dx at a distance x. Here we'll find the small induced EMF DE. And then we'll integrate it to find the total EMF across it. That would be E. So DE is equal to BX so at this point into V into DX. So BVL at this point. Bx is mu naught i naught by 2 pi x. V is constant for the whole rod. So we'll just take it as V times dx. So we integrate it limits from A to B to get our EMF and divide that by R to get our current. So magnitude of current. So flux is increasing as the area is increasing. As field is inside the plane, so to counter the direction of current should be anti-clockwise. Now second part, the force required to maintain the connector's velocity. So let that be F external and this is the F due to magnetic induction. So net force on the rod is zero, that's why it's traveling with constant velocity. That means Fm is equal to F external. So we can find Fm by again taking a small part of this rod. See again, if the field was uniform, the Fm will be just BIL. But here again, B is changing with distance. So we'll add a distance x, we'll take a small part dx. And on that small part dx, small force dfm will be bx i dx. Bx is again mu naught i by 2 pi x. Value of i we can put from here, which we just found, which is a constant. And dx by x limits will be again from a to b. So we solve this, put the value of i and get our answer.